it's worth 30% of the overall score. Among those in this group, 13-year-old Sarah Hughes from Great Neck, New York. Normally, she would be too young to compete here at Worlds, but she captured a silver medal at the Junior World Championships three months ago. And as Leslie Visser tells us, for this young lady, barely out of childhood, that silver earned her the honor of representing her country. It sounds so sweet being only 13, but Sarah Hughes is not like most 13-year-olds. I always bring my pillow when I go away with me. <laughs> and I have my good luck pajamas, actually. And I always wear my good luck pajamas the night before I compete. And they do get washed. Sarah began competing at a young age, just like her five brothers and sisters. Her father, John, had captained the 1970 Cornell University hockey team to the NCAA title and passed his love of skating on to his family. She must have been about three and a half, and her two older brothers were in little hockey classes with hockey skating. And uh, she said, I want to do that. And I said, you can't do that, you're too young. And she had a temper tantrum. She said, I want to do it, I want to do it. I said, well, I'll tell you what, we'll rent your skates and we'll see how you like it. Ten years later, she won the junior national title and placed second at Junior Worlds. But her parents always made sure that skating did not disrupt their family life or Sarah's childhood. No moving away from home or being schooled by tutors. I don't think I miss out on anything because if I want to go see a movie, no one's stopping me. If I want to go to the mall, no one's stopping me. I think that I skate because I love to skate and I don't give anything up to skate. It was that love of skating that kept her going when two years ago, tragedy struck. Sarah's mother, Amy, was diagnosed with breast cancer. Sarah was only 11 when her mom started weekly trips to the hospital for chemotherapy. I really wasn't around for her for a good six months, seven months, and you know what? She grew up a lot in those six or seven months. Mother and daughter learned that Sarah's skating was more important than they'd ever realized for both of them. Skating definitely helped me through it because I just forget about everything and all my worries and all my problems and my mother's sickness. It just let me go in sort of another world. It was the same for her mother when she made it to one of Sarah's competitions. I had a really bad reaction to the chemo. I really was sick. They sat me down in the stands and I watched her skate. I didn't feel sick. It was a miracle. Back outside takeoff. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Beautifully done. Last month at the national championships, Sarah Hughes skated to a fourth place finish and a spot on the world team. As Amy Hughes looked on, her cancer in remission. It was a moment of particular poignancy, a moment of triumph for mother and daughter. Sarah Banner on the ice, Sarah Hughes, who developed the United States. The product of a strong, talented family, and she has certainly kept everything in perspective to this point in her life. 13 years of age, Sarah Hughes from Great Neck, New York, takes the ice. She skated very well in qualifying. She was fourth in her group, and of course, with the new format, that counts for 20% of the overall score now. And she is such a refreshing 13-year-old. Dick and I spoke to Sarah right after the qualifying, and all she could talk about was how beautiful all the skaters were. This is going to be quite an experience for her. Oh, nice opening double cute. axle. and the one that she had at the national championships just a short while ago. Already her back positions have improved. Spiral combination, one of the eight requirements. The 
design of which is the skater's own. Again, a very difficult footwork into a triple flip jump. Nice. And one of the more difficult triples to do in a short program, so that'll give her added points because of that difficulty. Combination spin, lovely layback position. That's nice. Catch foot back spin. Very accomplished. I must say she's skating with more flair and security than I suspected was possible in such a short time. But you can see that she is paying attention to her hand movements and her choreography in this program. And her final spin, this layback, beautiful position. Nice turnout in the leg, beautiful arms. Wonderful. Oh, very nice. Very nice. And you know, there was a wonderful trick that she did at the end of that. She sat in the position of the layback. Her father, John, in attendance here in Helsinki. When she sat in that position, she didn't change it. And therefore, you looked at it with greater and greater enthusiasm. It held your attention. It's a wonderful, wonderful uh, element to keep going. Okay, and here is a look at the footwork going into her triple flip jump. And here is her preparation here as she reaches back. Right there, taps in, gets good spring to this jump. Nice, solidly done, good landing, good position. Well, as far as she has come and the way she has handled herself Fine. this week here in Helsinki, Fine. you forget she's not much older than the flower girls who picked up the teddy bears <laughs> out the ice. But look at these marks. Um, the, what apparently is the Austrian judge has given a 4-4, four, four, and the... Uh, uh, I can't see the third judge at 4-7. The rest, 5-3s, five 5-4s. Five five for presentation, five eight, those are good enough to put five her in five, third place five, in terms of the skaters five, in the seven, short program. Five, five, Look at the smile on her face five, from Robin two. Wagner. But the most Robin, important. Look at her dad, Pat. Uh, he's already <laughs> telling <laughs> Mark's grandma at home. <laughs> he's proud. <laughs> the quickest phone call after Mark's in history. Up next.